We're deep in the heart of Thailand. We're surrounded by dangerous wildlife and uneven terrain. Our objective, finish this edit without dying. can't finish this edit though without a computer running Final Cut Pro. We have a path laid out to get to our MacBook Pro. We know we need to travel east to get to our destination. We have our bag here packed with essentials like water, food, extra clothing, and our tent. It's almost nightfall, so we need to get a move on. Let's go. We made it. We found the MacBook Pro and we survived to tell the tale. Now let's finish the edit. On to the tutorial. Once you have installed M Survival via M Installer, it can be located in your titles, as well as your effects, and your transitions. So I'm going to go over this really quickly because I want to do a little bit more advanced tutorial today. So over in our scene, you can see that we have this beautiful rainforest and then it cuts over to me speaking i'd like to add a transition so if you want to skim over each of these really briefly you can see how these are going to look and how they're going to behave we have eight transitions in m survival to apply i'm going to click and drag onto the clip and then you can see that i have this on-screen control here so this is going to not only lock in where the arrow and the crosshairs are, but this is also going to be where your zooming is happening. Over in our inspector, we have all of the parameters that you would expect to have. And then you can see as I go through, it is going to push in to that section. So really, really nice. And of course, if I wanted to change that, I could do it over here. Something like that, move my arrow with my on-screen control. It's gonna bring those crosshairs up and then it is just going to zoom in on that section. So that is using transitions. So on this next clip, if we go up to my titles, we can see we've got a lot of different titles. So we have add-ons. And of course, if you skim over these, you're going to see those over in your canvas. And then we have some backgrounds. So if you just wanted to throw a background up and you can have a title, something like that on there, we have multiple of those. We have movements. So this is gonna be some different cool camera moves. I really love the echo zoom on this one and I love just the straight zoom push, but of course all of those are great. Then we have some overlay effects. We've got blurs, we have like a danger really really nice uh, vision emulation so this is like a nighttime camera and then a ton of typography as you would expect and again if you skim over those you're going to see how each of these are going to look so the first thing i want to do is create a look on this so why don't we go down to our overlay effects and we can grab our LUT presets really quickly and I'm going to bring them in and I'm going to bring them in on top of my clip and beneath my transition there. And then over in my inspector, I'm just going to go to LUTs and we're gonna come down to M Survival and you can see that we have several Bushcraft, Bravo, Campfire and clicking any of these is going to apply that to your clip. I think I like tactile Terra, and then I'm going to bring the LUT amount just down a little bit so it's not as drastic on this particular clip. And then I'd also like to add a little bit of a move. So I'm going to add my echo zoom in, and I'm going to bring that in on top of the LUT preset. I'm going to bring it in below my transition so that's already sort of happening. And you can see that it just has that kind of jittery shake and push. We have some on-screen controls here, and this is going to be the position to control, and this is our position from control. I then want to also use my zoom, and I want to just do a very quick zoom in on top of that. Boom, really quick. It's got sort of a blur to it. We can turn that bad film off on that one. 
we can also turn bad film off on the other and on this one we're just gonna scale not so much either so something like that so it's still a little bit sharper just a quick zoom there really really nice now of course we also have effect so i have these two clips stacked on top of each other over in our effects if you skim over it is going to show that on that affected source on this one i'm going to use paint smear so let's drag that bring it on top and then you can see that we are revealing the clip beneath i'd like to bring my paint smear over and then over in my inspector we have all of the parameters and we have this great footage position parameter so we can bring that over on x so that we make sure that we include the footage that we're wanting and then beneath i would like to do another zoom and i'm going to do that on the clip beneath so that it sort of zooms in so we have that boom it comes in really really cool i love it i'm gonna bring uh, this position over just so we can format it and so now we have those kind of reacting to each other bam right there nice so this is a great option to uh, grab our LUT we can just bring that in on top so it's got the same look from our LUT presets and then I also want to do a title here so we have a bunch of different titles in this one I used the title number three so I'm just going to drag that in on top then you can see it all kind of happens together. We have on-screen controls, and then we have all of the adjustable parameters over in our inspector. Moving down our timeline, we still have our LUT presets over top of all of our clips so that we have a uniform color look from those. So on this one, I know that we had the danger vignette, so I'm just going to drag that in on top. And you can see that we're just saying danger, danger, danger on the edges there. And of course that comes with its own set of published parameters. On this one, we also used title number five and we're just kind of saying again, oh, there's some danger. So I use my on-screen control to just sort of bring that down, make it a little bit smaller there. So we have danger, danger, danger coming on. And then on this one, I used the dangerous detail, which is in my add-ons. And you can see here, I'm going to bring this beneath my danger vignette because I don't want to zoom in on the vignette. These are working as adjustment layers. I use my on-screen controls to figure out where I am. There we go. Just use that. And then over in my inspector, I can go to my text offset for that exclamation point and i can just drag those parameters so that they are right there in the corner and you can see there just kind of zooms in boom really really cool on this last one before we get into the more technical uh compositions i really enjoyed using the trail add-on so i'm going to grab my trail i'm going to bring that in drag that down and then as you can see on the screen we have a ton of on-screen controls so as you can see here that it is starting from the bottom uh, so i'm just going to use my on-screen control here and flip that around like this and then let's scale it down some over in my inspector we have all of these parameters along with trail segments i'm actually going to just change that to something like six to keep it really basic for now and I'm going to use my on-screen controls to show the path that I'm going to be walking. So there we go, something like this. And then on top of that, I again used my echo zoom just because I like it a lot. And we are just zooming in and it's going to zoom in on top of that custom path. So you can see path moves in. And then there we are zooming in on that path. It almost looks like it's tracked in because we're doing that really nice in the echo zoom. Again, I can just turn off some of that jitteriness and bad film if I want so that I'm only getting that sort of zooming action without really distorting the footage too bad. So really cool. You can see that pushes in 
really, really nice. All right, so now why don't we get to the more advanced stuff that we did in this tutorial. So as you can see here, I had this clip and I did a transition. So I did a whip pan transition on this one and I had it on the edge there. And you can see that it just kind of whip pans over into this shot. So I'm trying to say that that's the mountain I'm climbing. So there's a lot going on here. I did use some generative fill to fill in that section. So hilariously enough, this is the original shot. And then I just did a draw mask on top of my mountains that I did with Photoshop. Then I had some stock footage of some birds here, and you can see that I did a bit on there. I uh, used my blend mode darken, so there is the normal shot. I found just some birds with some blown out skies. Changed my blend mode to darken, and I did some keyframes on transform because these birds are kind of sitting still, so I wanted to make them look like they're flying. So there you go, we're kind of flying through. Now, of course, I need to give this a look, so I'm going to grab my LUT preset here that I was using earlier. I'm going to click Option and drag that over. So now we have our LUT applied, so that's giving it a little bit better look already. In our overlay effects, you can see that we have smoke, so let me grab my smoke. And I'm going to bring that in on top. You can see we've got some on-screen controls, so there's our smoke there. And because of the way that this mountain looks in our video that we are transitioning from, I want to kind of have that smoke up a little bit higher. And in the color, I want to change my smoke to a white color. So there we go. We can change both of those to white. And then on content opacity, I can just sort of bring that down or we can go down to each individual smoke layer and we can bring the opacity down to our liking for that smoke. There you go, really cool on position. I think maybe I want to bring that still a little bit more up above, like I'm making it into the smoke. So there we go. On my LUT, I'm gonna make that a little bit more drastic, I think. And I also used the Echo Zoom on this one just because I love Echo Zoom. It is awesome. So I'm going to bring that in. And on this one, I'm actually, instead of doing a push in, I'm actually doing a push out. So we're going to grab my position from, and we're going to change that to, let's just say 125 position from, and then we can do scale two and we'll change that to 100. So you can see now that we have my from position is set to where it's sort of focused more on me there. And as a matter of fact, I think I want to scale from a little bit more. So let's scale from something like that. There we go. And then over in my inspector here, of course, I want to maybe bring down that bad focus bring down our focus variance, bring down our jitter amount a little bit and our jitter variance just so it's not too drastic. Turn off animations in and out because I just like the sort of pull there. So there we go. Oh, I need to change my focus, change my smoke out. So it's just staying. So here we go. really really fun and then the last thing that i did was i actually did do i let echo zoom kind of finish out so that it just stops there and i used a title so i used caption number one i'm going to grab caption number one i'm going to bring it beneath my echo zoom just so that it is also kind of in there almost like it's a tracked title and we're going to very, very quickly use our on-screen controls to just say, that's where I'm heading, Hard Peak Summit. And then the last thing that we did was this backpack thing. Now, this was really cool. We shot this uh, in a way that the Final Cut Pro stabilizer would just sort of stabilize and lock onto the backpack. 
so um that was intentionally done so this is not a track shot this is actually just uh taking advantage of how the stabilization works in final cut pro so with that said why don't we come over and let's find our backpack there in our add-ons and i'm going to bring that in on top so that it will just kind of come in there we go let me bring that down just a little bit and then here we're going to use some on-screen controls to very quickly just kind of match match that backpack to the best of our ability and then we are going to grab our accessories and we will just let that animate in so you can see here boom it animates in and we just start filling in our backpack with those items change that to fresh water and then you can see how the backpack is going to come in and then we've got pocket knife fresh water and then you just duplicate that across the board filling in your backpack we also did some overlay effects on this so we used our focus vignette which is in overlay effects so i'm gonna drag my focus vignette in on top and then you can see here we have some on-screen controls for that focus vignette along with some parameters over in the inspector and i used my multiple zooms movement as well so that we could zoom in on those parts of the backpack and you can see that we've got some on-screen controls there that is going to zoom in so that's our first little spot right there and then we have our second spot so it's pushing over and we can just start to show little sections of that backpack as we fill in those areas and this is what that timeline looked like after we were done with our tutorial intro if i open up this compound clip you can see how many we had here just kind of populating in and i did just make that a compound clip in my primary timeline so that i could make sure that i'm adjusting the timing and length and stuff like that however i wanted and again we have so many tools you can see by this timeline we used a lot of them we have vi vision emulations and security cameras but but of course most of these like i said are working as adjustment layers so you just grab that title and you bring it in on top of your footage to create some really really cool looking effects and that's about it from me m survival is now available on motionvfx.com be sure to subscribe and we'll see you on the next one